a lot of bullshit going on. And I I don't know when I'm going to get home tonight. I don't know if I'm going to get home before uh, Nick Ricada streams tonight to talk about all the bullshit that's been going on. And um, I don't know how long I'm going to be here at BioLife uh, donating. But um, I felt like I need to record this, at least give a timestamp on it. It is around 4.15 p.m. Central Time on uh, March 1st, 2023. I've made a couple videos about the copyright sh uh, struck issues on uh, Divinity Said from uh, Fast Fair and Balanced. And then I made a video about uh, Megan Fox's opinions about the whole deal. And then after that, I made a video on uh, uh, Chrissy Myers about the copyright strike she filed on the video of the whole deal. Now, in that day, here's where it goes. I know there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of bullshit, there's a lot of sides flowing, throwing a lot of shit at each other. And whether it be legitimate, whether it be okay, I, I don't care. My whole point coming into this whole deal was to cover the copyright stuff. That was it. That's that's why I've done I've done that since 2018. I've done that whenever Alex Mauer was suing um, copyright striking over 100 different YouTubers to get back at Imago Softworks and holding their channels ransom. I covered that. Covered that case. Covered that whole deal. I covered a little bit of the saga on card versus Aquila. Gave my opinions on that one. Um, how Aquila was trying to swing that as it was just straight up theft. Also put in there that it was harassment and you know not transformative and it was a uh, white privilege or you know white supremacist all that other good bullshit. I covered that one, gave my opinions on it. Um, we see an outcome of that. Sargon won that case especially because of those dumb arguments. I covered the whole Atman versus Quantum TV BS. Quantum TV DMCA struck in a couple of videos, also removing the strikes from those videos. Um, he struck Atman and then two of them had a big blowout bullshit fest. Um, where Quantum, I guess, you know, he called it um, Atman's mom, all that good stuff. I wasn't a fan of that one. I didn't like it. I also didn't like the fact of Atman going at Quantum as hard as he did. Yeah, I called that stuff out too. Um, all the way up to the Ace of Thorn bullshit. Um, you know, Ace of Thorn showing a bunch of different YouTubers for clipping out a portion of a stream that was down that he made a bullshit argument for. You know, all that other good stuff. I come at this looking at was the DMCA strikes legitimate? Was the DMCA strikes false? That's all. I, that's all I care about. Now, if the drama has something to do with it, and that's the justification, at the end of the day, that's still a false strike. No, no offense or buts. That's still a false strike. If it's the drama that's caused the strikes, that's still a false strike. So, I still stand behind my opinion on that one. If the people who file the strikes think they're legit, and it's countered, on any YouTube subs service, take it to court. Again, that's my stance on that one. Every opinion that I had has been just that. It's my opinion. It's me looking at the video. Only the video, not the people behind them, not the person themselves, not the people or the person that the video came from. It's the video themselves. Do I think, in my opinion, that that video is or is not fair use? And that's all I've done. This whole bullshit with lobbing insults back and forth on Twitter and YouTube, I don't care about. This whole idea of blackmail, I don't care about. This whole idea about doxing, I don't care about. This whole idea about anything else, I don't fucking care about. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to be a fucking part of it. I'm only going to the point of talking about the videos themselves, the videos in question. That's it. And I think Nick Makeda is at the same point tonight on his stream. He's got he says he's gotta be talking about it. He talked about it today doing lunch on his stream today on the Alex Murdoch trial. 
And uh, I do agree with her sentiment that you, you cannot hold the, the drama bullshit and the corporate bullshit at the same, you, you cannot conflate the two with each other. They've got to be separated because when it comes to corporate law, law harassment is not a factor. Harassment does not play in this, you know, saying mean names and mean words to each other is not a, a factor. Um, saying, you know, dropping information about someone is not a factor. Blackmail, it's not a factor. It's only a factor if you've done a DMCA strike to do that to someone and then it is considered false. And I don't even care how he got to the point. If that's what happened, it's still false in the story in the day. I don't care for any kind of justifications and reasons. Now, another thing I want to talk about is the escalation of this stuff, both from, you know, Farron and from Divinity and both sides of the party. I'm not a part of that. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't agree with it. I'm not going to stand behind it. So, whatever happens, happens. That's, that, that, man, things just escalating. And I do think Deb is making a mistake. You know, I'll say that right now. I think she's making a big mistake. Um, I understand she's, most likely pissed because of the strikes, the quote unquote strikes, false strikes, was dread strikes, doesn't matter. Um, all that needs to be argued out in a court of law, in the story. That there's no if and but, no if and buts. It has to be argued out in a court of law. Anyone can make the assessment that something could or can be fair use. But at the end of the day, fair use is only a defense. It's not absolute, it's not legitimate. Fair use is a defense you got to take failures to account whenever you go for and strike a video yes you got to take that into account the problem is is fair use varies from person to person and opinion someone else one person may think that something falls into fair use and another person may think something doesn't fall into fair use this is why it goes to trial and this is why it gets argued out and then the judge rules on the prevailing arguments I've always stated that. I've always kept on to that. My point and my opinions have been what I would do if I went into a court with this case. What would my argument be? How would I go through and argue this? What do I think about this? That's it. I don't need to debate my opinions for no one. I don't need to tell anyone else that they're wrong and I'm right. That's not the whole point of this. The point is, these are my opinions. And I have a strong feeling about copyright and DMCA abuse. Um, I never liked it way back in the day when I first started YouTube and I started covering this stuff. And I, my opinion has not changed, even after being struck myself by a, <laughs> a illegitimate company and having to break my channel back from the fucking ashes of termination. Um, and this is why I talk about it. And that is the only reason why I talk about it. It's because the topic is interesting. The arguments are interesting to make and form. And it's interesting to see how it plays out in court if and when any of this stuff does go to court. Um, see how well you can gauge the system. And on top of that, these case laws, but like with H3H3 versus Matt Haas, um, Alex Mayo versus Amigo Softworks, um, <laughs> Sargon Card versus uh, Akil Hughes, all these cases, they put landmarkers in the field of guiding, uh, not landmarkers, but guiding posts. And a lot of people don't understand that too. The you know, the case laws that are derived from these these cases, they're not concrete cement barriers in the sand of, yes, as long as it's within these bounds, it's this 100%. I mean, it can be. If a lawyer wants to argue around those points in court and they have something that's very similar uh, to any one of those cases, it can be argued that way. But at the end of the day, they're mostly guiding posts, um, the guidelines, that's it. It's it's a direction to go. 
you know, a judge has ruled on this, so we can go around this area and see if we can tell our arguments around this, or how close it seems. That's it. It doesn't mean if it's like this, this, and this, it's a 100%. No. It, it just depends case by case and video by video, in my opinion, like the one with Dev and Chrissy's video. It, it's very similar to the Sargon case, in my opinion. Um, any of the other videos, I'm still working on a video on that. But with uh, a couple things, a lot of things is ramping up to like 11, 12, 13 um, on the bullshit scale. And I want nothing to do with it. It's, that's not my fight. And I have no fucking opinion about it. And I do honestly think Divinity's making it a lot worse for us. She needs to stop. You know, I gave her my opinion. I gave her what I thought she needs to do. And nothing else beyond that. All this just makes it that much more difficult to fight. And it's unnecessary. Um, you know, sometimes you got to lose the battle to win the war. Not charge on into the battlefield and, you know, lay on your sword by perpetuating bullshit. Um, and that's that's my stand in it. But at the end of the day, it's like, I can't tell Farron what to do. I can't tell Divinity what to do. I can just sit back, watch, look, and go, oh, yeah, this is dumb, and I want nothing to do with it. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I want nothing to do with the drama. I'm going to continue talking about the DMCAs and the fair use and stuff like that. I'm going to continue going over the videos, see if they're fair use or not. And that's going to be my opinion. Whether if it goes to court, anything like that, that still remains to be seen. This is my opinion as a ever evolving situation. And I it, it goes these ways. It only goes this way. If Divinity gives up and doesn't continue to strike this or go further on to YouTube to follow to YouTube that these are false or illegitimate in her book and these people don't bring a fucking court case and they it's false DMCA abuse because they didn't take it to court and she continued to fight it. If she gives up and says, yep, you know, I was in the bad and I'm wrong, then she admits that what she did wasn't fair use. My opinion may differ in it, but that means the strike was legitimate. And if it goes to court, like the people, you know, DMCing her, if it go, if they bring a suit to her to court and she rocks up and accepts it, then it's in the court's hands. And then we just watch to see what happens. At the end of the day, that's, that's my whole take and opinion, the whole thing. And I'm tired of asking questions to people, well, well, this person, this, 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 and this, and this person, did this, I don't care. That's not the point that I'm doing it on this. And if you want to talk about that, don't comment on my videos about it because it's it's irrelevant to me. Don't tag me on uh, Twitter and ask me, well, what do you think about all this bullshit? I don't care. That's not my point in it. Um, I don't. I don't stand for it. I'm not going to perpetuate it. I'm going to say each side's making a bunch of mistakes in it. But I'm going to keep to the argument of what I made. That's it. Anything else, I've got nothing to do with. So with that, sorry for the disabled look. Like I said, I just got off walk. I'm getting ready to go donate my life. I don't know why I'm going to get home. I don't know when Nick's got to stream tonight. I'm going to be watching it. I'm probably not going to be live stream watching it, but... I'm going to be watching it, and we're going to see what happens, uh, what, what his take is. I think his take's got to be pretty similar to mine at the end of the day. Um, it might be a little to one side or another side. He may give a legal, uh, he might give his opinion on if he thinks the videos are fair use or not. He may not. He may say, just fuck you guys, take it to court. If you can't take it to court, shut the fuck up. Um, what well, he's got to address about the drama, he's probably got to say he doesn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> it's bullshit. So, with that, that's all I gotta say about the whole deal, and we'll see what happens.